Hey guys, um, I just wanted to make a video today because, well, to be fair, I haven't made a video in a while. I think it's been at least a week or two because I've been going through a lot of stress recently. I got excluded for about two weeks, so yeah, that wasn't really the best thing that's happened. But yeah, I'm going to hopefully be back making videos at least once a week now, rather than... Because what I was trying to do is I was trying to make at least a video every other day. But then I sort of ran out of ideas to make videos, and then I was like, I don't really want to make videos on WW2K20 anymore, because I'm not really playing it. So if I was going to make play it, it would only be for video's sake rather than my enjoyment. I didn't want it to become that. So I will probably continue the series on like sometime next this week or next week. But it'll probably be a once a week thing rather than like, you know, an every other day thing. But yeah, I'm going to... But... With this whole thing, there are going to be more series coming on. So I'm going to do some... Because I'm, cause I'm new to the whole subscribe, the whole YouTube thing. I don't really want to do, like, you know, really old games at the moment. Like, I want to really make some of the newer games that I have and then, and then move on to the older games, if you know what I mean. So more of the Escapists and Plague Inc. and games like that. So yeah, that'll be fun. But um but yeah. Um today is again the start of a new series. Hopefully this video will only be about fifteen minutes long. But yeah. I'm gonna talk about a so about every week maybe I'm gonna start talking about a subject that either I'm quite, you know, passionate about or that you guys want me to talk about um so yeah it'll be quite interesting to see what you guys want me to talk about and um to see your to see your views on it as well in the comments and then if there's any questions based on that subject or another subject that I did you can always ask me in the comments of those videos or of my latest video of the series and if I get enough questions, I'll probably do a part two. Um, just answering the questions. So yeah, it'll this will be a fun road. So this is just literally me talking into a camera about things I'm passionate about. Not really things like, again, WWE or video games. But more things like, um, you know, events. So like, and like, just loads of different things just music to um other things like i don't know whatever you want it to be it can be a it's just you know a conversation that you know it's just really a conversation like if you're sorting in the news and what my perspective on it then i'm here for that as well it's just yeah I, I don't know, it's just I'm here to talk about theoretical stuff. Philosophize, philosophize with you. So yeah, um, not theoretical stuff. But we can do theoretical stuff as well. So like science and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I was going to, I'm going to start off this topic with something that's quite you know, quite, I'm looking, I'm grasping for words here, but I can't think of them, that's quite, not personal, but quite, I'm quite passionate about, really, like, getting my views across on it, and, um, yeah, and that's religion, because, like, you know, I'm prob, I live with, like, four people, and, and, out of that out of that five, I'm the only atheist in the house. And um yeah, it's 
I come from quite a good position there because the rest of my family, um, the rest of the, my mum, my nan and my granddad are all um, Christians. So it's definitely quite interesting to find out their perspectives. So if I have any questions about, especially from the Bible and different stuff like that, then I can go and ask my mum, especially the questions that I have, because I know she will always answer, not from really like a proper religious perspective, but her own perspective as well. So it's quite cool to really have that bond between a religious person that's not really religious, that doesn't like, you know, go to church every Sunday and, you know, she sometimes goes to church on Christmases and different stuff like that and if there's events on and stuff but Sundays anyway she can't go to church on Sundays because I go to wrestling so yeah that's sort of more important but yeah um basically I just wanted to chat because religion's sort of a not a touchy subject but one a lot of people can have very conflicting views on but they don't really realize they're actually the same views as everybody else just in a different perspective really because um it sort of leads me on to my first point because um you know and by the way this isn't me going on about how or oh, because i'm an atheist you shouldn't be religious because that's not what these videos are about these videos aren't about me trying to get my opinions across to you these videos are just me giving my opinions you know don't take these for word because i know they're not um they're just me speaking my mind and my opinions because i'm not one of the people that keeps the their opinions to themselves i like to address them and um, have discussions about them not arguments just discussions because i find them quite interesting so yeah so basically um the first point i wanted to make really because of the whole similar ideas but contrasting views is because whatever religion you are especially nowadays because especially in um Roman times and Viking times and back then there were there was always loads and loads of different gods of different things and they all had their different roles to play but now it's almost as if they've all merged into one and um yeah I'm pretty sure that all started to really expand about the um end of the Roman period the Roman era that really began to expand the whole um, one god idea but yeah um, the whole whatever you are Christian um, Muslim um, Jewish I'd, like you know most of the people believe in the same thing just practice it and showcase it in different ways like you know a lot of these people believe in god and the thing is they're all like they're all written in different ways but they all practically do the same thing because especially with christians and jewish people their god's pretty similar because it's more into making miracles rather than come true rather than you know sorting things out and then there's a whole muslim side of it which is is that the one yeah that's the one where um like there's loads of different deities but are all part of one god which basically is god just the different aspects of him so um so yeah they all believe in the same thing they just do different things so yeah but 
especially with the different layers of religion, especially with the whole Christian side of things, like um, many of it has been used for power, especially with the whole, um, I think it was King Henry VIII, because I think he either he was prostitant, prostitant or became it or created it because Protestant or Catholic he was one of the two and then created the other one because he wanted to divorce his wife but the religion that he was part of whichever one whichever brand of Christianity it was that um, King Henry the eighth was part of I'm pretty sure it's Catholicism didn't let him divorce didn't let you divorce no matter what so um so yeah I think he created the Protestant Protestant church to get divorced from his wife and then it sort of went into havoc then and then it was sort of like no you can't do this no you can't do that and then it took away like everything fun so it was just like no you can only worship and it was like really why and then luckily you know it all got it didn't really get disbanded but it got you know a lot of less people were drawn to that way as they were like nah we want to do this stuff yet still get into heaven and um yeah basically um yeah, it was just all of that stuff. But another point I wanted to make was the fact that, um, like with me, going back to my um, standpoint on it of it all, because um, the thing is, my mum is Christian-ish, but um, my dad isn't, so because my mum really wants really wanted me to be the person I want to be rather than her using her influence as my parent to um, really shape me and my behavior and my personality um, she wanted to find who I was rather than who she was in a different body you know what I mean so um so yeah so she um put she took me to church when I wanted to go because I wouldn't well I wouldn't wouldn't really sit there like you know praying and everything and um but I would sit there I'm pretty sure respectfully and you know really taking it in rather than listening because I was really there for the experiences and the understanding of why they do that rather than of actually doing it myself so um so yeah it it was more in learning thing rather than a believing thing so yeah but then cuz i was never baptized because they wanted to wait until i was about 10 to make my own decision and then see where i stood on the whole religion thing then rather than um baptized me straight away introduced me to religion at like a really early age take me to sunday school which i'm pretty sure i still went to anyway because they were like oh it was just an after school club while i was being picked up from school i can't remember which one but yeah it was really more that but yeah um this is really to bring me on to the point that um like a lot of parents are going down that route now like you know teaching religion to their children at a later age rather than an earlier late age so that they can make their own minds up about it which i think is a really good idea because especially with the way we are as a race the human race as a species we are now um we've really um expanded our minds to 
more I don't I don't want to say realistic because that'll be like you know um but a more th um thought about approach to life in general and um the choices that we make and everything so I think that's a good thing you know there are still some parents that um most religious parents i know of anyway send sent their kids to um sunday school and church every sunday and stuff like that which if you've got no other choice i don't have a problem with but um yeah i do have a problem with it when um they use religion as more of a deciding point of like relationships and stuff not not like um loving relationships and stuff like that but friendship groups as well because i remember i think one of my friends um i was talking about religion and how i'm not religious and how i think religion is outdated and all on all of that at school one time and then because I was sat by one of the boys that was listening into the conversation but wasn't part of it because his parents were quite heavily religious and um yeah so basically he went home and started discussing some of the points I was discussing and because their parents knew that he was religious well that's what he told his parents at least that um they were quite shocked and um asked him where he un where he got those thinking from and he said um ben and his group of friends were having a discussion and i was listening in so basically he got moved from the seating area that me and my friends were sat in he got moved half the way across the classroom because we had different ideas to his parents which it was quite annoying because you know I got on well with that person but it was more of a like you know it was nothing I could change really because like I'm one of the people like you can like me because of something I am because of the person I am rather than the person I'm not because I'm not one of the people that goes oh yeah i'm this i'm that just to make someone like me like i'm not gonna go into a house with full of really religious people and go oh yeah i go to church on sundays and you know i used to go to sunday school and all that because i'm really religious and all that because that's not the person i am and i don't really want to portray that unless it's like my best mate you know but um but yeah um I let people make their minds up about who I am, who I am, rather than, you know, who I'm not. And, um, yeah, I'm one of those people that doesn't try to please everybody. Like, you know, I'm not going to go around, like, you know, um, saying, oh, yeah, I'm really religious to one person, and then going, oh yeah, you know, religion, it's really stupid, and it, to another person, because they're not religious, you know, but, um, but yeah, I'm, again, um, yeah, that's religion, and some of it has gotten a bad rap recently, because a lot of people are taking it, it, peop, it's a tough one to explain at the moment, because some people are either taking it to the extreme versions and you know taking everything they say in the holy book whatever they want to call it as literal so like going out telling people it's wrong to do certain things because it says in the bible which was written about 2000 years ago so you can't really say that oh yeah it's wrong because it said so 2000 years ago because a lot has changed in those 2000 years but yeah so there's just a massive spider on the wall and it's getting ever so closer to my bed
and I do not like it one bit because I can stand spiders as you can see from my bedroom which is covered in them but not when they're fast not when they're fast I hate fast spiders and this is a fast spider now that's right next to my gaming PC and my bed and I don't like it one bit but yeah anyway um, they're either taking it to the extreme and taking everything literally or just you know using it as an excuse and I think if you're gonna use something like that as an, as an excuse where like I know there's loads of really good people that are religious but there's also loads of really bad people that are religious and use their religion as a sort of I don't want to say scapegoat but as a sort of reason to do stuff even though they're just you know sick in the mind but yeah it's more of a this is more of a philosophy thing and a more opinionated thing rather than a more persuasive thing you know but yeah I just wanted to get my opinions across and give you a platform to give your opinions across and then you know um yeah it, it'll be interesting to see what some of the comments are but yeah anyway guys as you can see the spider's getting ever so closer as i'm getting ever so closer to either doom or burning the house down because of it so yeah it's pretty terrifying especially when it moves that quickly I might get a paper, not paper, I might get something and kill it in a minute. I don't know. See how fast it's moving? Why are you going to my AJ Styles signature? I don't like that. Because I bet when I'm going to take it off the wall, it's still going to be there. And then I'm going to, I'm going to end up taking it off the wall and then it being um its dead body being there and then i take it off and then it just falls out and starts wiggling on the floor even though it's still dead and i end up freaking out and dropping it on my foot and then the signature gets ruined and i will not be happy and i will burn every single spider i see alive but yeah i don't want that to happen because again i don't mind spiders Especially when they're moving up the wall away from it. So I don't mind it. Anyway. This video was not meant to be. About spiders. It was meant, was meant to be about religion. But you know. Hey ho. And with on that note. I will either see you next video. Or not. Because I'm in some sort of spider hell. And been eaten alive. By this monstrosity that is happening on my wall but anyway guys i'll see you next video or not bye